today I have the uh, 3.0 Honda and Acura um, V6 and this is uh, not the wrong I just do a timing belt on it um, this the uh, Accord 2007 this is one of the uh, very best Honda engine that you can find for this car okay I have many of the of the Odyssey and pilot done but have not have any on the course so this kind of old already but I just want to do oh, keep it on record I've done it so many times but I never uh, recorded one so I'm thinking about recording this and just for a record okay Pilot and MDX and Odyssey, the 3.5 is very similar to this right here. And you can using the um, 3.5 and a 3.0 interchangeable part like water pump, timing belt, they all the same. Okay, you can use the 3.0 and 3.5, uh, just the cubic inch is a little bit bigger than this one, but uh, all the part and all this procedure doing is the same and you can see that this is the core is a little bit lower um, and and also have less part removing and you can see that the motor mount is just right here and you don't have to remove a lot of stuff like the uh, pilot and odyssey that you have to move uh, the um, ECU from here and all that stuff to remove in the motor mounts you know on this one is much much more simple and easier and and a lot more room than the um, pilot and, and odyssey or mdx i already drained my uh fluid and i i already take the tire out and also i take this pin clip holding this right here so can access to the um, pulley uh, this only plastic clip holding right there just pull this pin out this one right here and one right there pull down and drop it down so I cannot hit that with my impact uh, devolt and I have to using something bigger like this to do it this is over 2,000 foot pound and this is only like 700 foot pound so this has been here since new so it 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 take a lot of force to taking this out unless you have the socket that go inside this uh, hole right here that's what it is and you can using um, force to do it but I don't have that so I have to use impact here is uh, some part that I recommend it if this is your car if you cannot afford Honda let's say that water pump from Honda it costs nearly I would say $200 okay back in only okay back armory is cost I would, I, I would say at around hundred dollar and quality I would say evenly to Honda well almost the same as Honda okay if you buy this brand and this brand is carried by O'Reilly and also I'm not sure who carry it but I, I would say O'Reilly carried this right here and if you buy from AutoZone, you buy Mahi. Mahi brand is very close to this brand also. They are uh, much more better quality than you buy just regular uh, uh, water pump from online or or any other brand beside this brand and uh, and and Mahi. Okay, two this two brand is recommended and also recommended by the timing belt from Honda why I say that 
you know mostly if you buy our brand uh, let's say that you buy from a regular brand from auto part or online and they are cheap you know they break after three year uh, four year or even less than that and on a Honda I hardly see any Honda belts that break like from the middle right here just break off okay so Honda belt is pretty good and they can last you up to 200,000 miles I see some already and for the older uh, version of the Honda Accord like 2.3 or 2.4 um, four cylinder one and they have a dual belt those last long time I know that they last like 200 something thousand miles and when you open it it's still very decent but on this right here they have single belt but you know like I said I never see Honda belt go bad so buy buy this brand uh, water pump and and buy a Honda belt that will save your uh, money in the wrong term and um, this uh, hydraulic tensioner um, I will say if you have a chance to buy you just order the same thing uh, back only or Mahi brand if they have it uh, on this right here is made by gate which is sticker but the product is made in china you can see right here so it, it's just a copycat one uh, i don't really have that much issue with this but main thing is if you buy a brand name they they more trustable okay why i replace this um i see this failure because honda have this aluminum chassis here and, and and the piston can leak sometime and if you don't change the uh, hydraulic tensioner and in case this go bad you have a knocking like an uh, engine failure like that so you have to redo it again then that costs extra money too so always recommend it to replace this you can replace the idler and the uh, uh, tension and bearing all that stuff too um, if you in a budget tight this three item always always uh, replace it so with the big gun you know this is a lot easier to come out than just using a small impact I will taking the uh, Tough power steering return low pressure uh, hose right out and I'm going to use my older socks here just to capture the uh, drip of the power steering fluid and take this out oh got some drip I'm going to use this my glove just to cover this to not get a spill this over then you know it doesn't spill anywhere and do the same thing I'm going to put one on this end also it does not spill anymore okay if this is serpentine belt is old you can and crack you have to, you can replace it if it doesn't then you just leave it Easy Red is what I've been using and they are good quality too and long. I'm not advertising any of this but you know uh, sometimes a good product I would like to share. Okay. And you see that there's no crack right here. The outside a little bit warm but nothing wrong with it. Um, you can just leave it like this number 12 on this side okay. and the bottom one is number 12 
as well. So I have this uh, Pittsburgh uh, ratchet, and this is the uh, 3A, and this is the quarter quarter one, and pretty long one, and you can buy this from Harbor Freight, twenty nine dollar, but you can download a free coupon and twenty percent off, and that save you another two three dollar pay for the tax. Okay, now it's off, so I'm gonna put this on top of the engine. Just lay it like that. Okay, let me take this one out. You see how strong it is? I can take a 14 millimeter bolt out, it's not breaking. And let's say that if you're using Craftsman on those quarter like this, you probably can't because, uh, and I break it so many times too. And if you break one and you take it for uh, exchange, they're not going to give you a new one. They rebuild it right there for you. That is suck. You know, that's why I don't recommend it no more. There's another boat on the bottom here. Um, show you how to take that off. Okay, the bottom one you can use a long extension like this. And if you have a swivel, you use a swivel. If you don't, <coughs> I would say <coughs> this is good enough just right here. And use a long extension so you can not bend yourself over so much Okay. Well, you can take it out from the top here. I think you should be able to take it out. Yeah. Okay. And don't lose that little plastic here to holding your um, bolt right here. The reason they're using this because when you insert it in there, it will holding this in peace. If you have a manual tray, you use a manual tray to keep all your part. That will not losing any of your parts you know and this manual tray is pretty cheap you can i used to get this free from the harbor <laughs> when i go buy parts they have this for free and you can use the coop and get a free stuff from over there so it's handy sometimes okay and that is five bolt they come out just pop this out Taking this one out too. If you look straight down here, you will see the other bolt for the motor mount. We'll take this out first. This is. Yeah, then. Oh, I'm gonna use my impact. Detach this 10 millimeter ground right here. Okay, let's see the motor mount. Pretty decent. There's nothing really uh, loose on it, so it's a good motor mount. This longer one is better because you don't have to put your hand all the way in the back. So, 
so this is easy and then there's one more down here somewhere you can put your hand at the bottom or you can fill it by just go through here okay that's out for all five so you just open this take out the uh, harness that go on the top here out so you can pop this thing okay and this belt still doesn't see any crack on it like I said this is a uh, 07 but it has 100,000 miles only still very decent built and I'm going to take the cover down the bottom cover out if you can't do from the top you can do and go down the bottom and do it okay okay if you come in from the back here you don't see and you work from the top and this uh <coughs> bolt right there the blue one right here and the op opposite one have another one right okay if you don't see it then you think that that would be a timing cover okay so you have to come in the bottom here to see that that's the timing tensioner hydraulic tensioner okay so the one on the top is the one that you're removing so now I got everything out so I can take the timing cover out okay just pulling down from the bottom here see now you can see you can see better now see the timing cover out so you can see the bolt that in the uh, tensioner okay so be careful on that if you release the tensioner and the tensioner will be throw out the uh serpentine belt i mean the the timing belt then you are in trouble okay so be careful on that so now i can take the uh motor mount holder right here this are number 14 and you have three of this and then there's another one down here at the bottom a little bit lower down here okay that's all come out take this out and Put this bolt back in. Little ripple right there. That is your timing mark. And what you can do is uh, slowly turn. <clears throat> There's a ripple right here, and on top right here, there is a mark down. And you just turn this one to meet straight with that. Anything else, don't take your attention until you make all this mark straight first okay slowly turn okay Let's see now it's a straight from here you can see the 06 M so the Number six is a straight to that point, but not just that you have to go to the top here Make sure that number one and that little mark right here Okay, that little mark right here straight to that cutting right there. So If that's a straight like that And this one right here you see this mark right here I'm not sure my camera can see it, but hopefully that will clear it see that little line right here and that mark right there now all these marks are straight now you can take out your tensioner 
okay your tensioner is now safe to taken out if you are taking the tensioner out then you know sometimes this uh, God I have a jet show every day see that that is leaking already and starting to knocking a little bit you see that mark right there um, the mark right here is telling uh, you that <clears throat> it be pinched a little bit so sooner or later you will hear a knocking sound tat 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 because all this leaking oil from the cylinder and that uh, piston here is got weak so it, it was tapping okay so every time you replace him belt on a Honda here I would say just replace this right here from the safe side okay okay take this eyeless tensioner out you have the money buy all of this together okay if you don't I would say check to see if it's still good if it's still good then leave it if not good then you can change to a new one how do you check I will show you how to check so if you check you spin like this you see if you spin like this and that is spin like consistently no stop then that is not good but if you spin like this and it slowly turn only then that mean you still have a lot of grease inside and the bearing still very good okay so just checking on that see that mark right here is a little bit so everything's still good so you don't have to buy a new one okay and on this one here is still good too because it's uh it's tight And now I'm ready to take out my water pump. Mm, a lot of water. I would try to do slowly, but a hey, accident happening. My catcher just catch all all, all of it, but okay. Now it's came off. Check to make sure um, any gum, any um, grease or silicone that stick into this uh, housing here if not then just clean real good then you put the uh, water pump back in there and then you're done okay all right I think that's clean enough everything is being clean the gasket has been put it in here the new water pump so time to put this water pump into here tiny little 10 millimeter bolt right here uh, you can torque up to t 9 foot pound which is the conversion is I think they recommend it is 104 inch pound and if you convert it that into foot pound is uh, you divide 104 inch pound to a foot pound is divided by 12 so it's come up to like 8.6 so which is you can do a round up to a nine foot um, or you can just gassing uh, torque 
you don't have to be over tight this right here um, the reason they tore this because um, uh, the rubber seal gasket and this is aluminum housing so you don't want to strip that aluminum bolt uh, housing right here so you can buy a new engine so that's pretty much that's why they want you to torque this now all the uh, Honda water pump I think they're using the same even the Civic Accord uh, the 3.0 3.2 3.5 they use the same part um, on this right here and they torque the same so if you know how to do one then you know how to do the rest of the uh, uh, other car put my tensioner back in here put some thread locker clean this before you put thread locker back in here okay before you put timing belt make sure you check all the timing marks still there because when you're working on it you may accidentally tap it somewhere and then you uh, miss all the marks okay check all the marks still there then you're ready to put the uh, timing belts in okay what I'm going to do over here I use this paper clip to holding the timing belt down so it won't pop out there's only way to have a single man to work on this right here okay I'm gonna clip somewhere in the back here make sure the timing belt going fit in first okay this will be coming this way same thing on this side, I'm going to use another one to hold it right here so the timing will be steady, stay in place so it won't pop out, okay and then you can go on the bottom here and work on the bottom so don't pull the pin until you're ready to take out the uh, you uh, lock it in the tensioner. Okay, as soon as you um, tie down that, then you just pull down your tensioner pin kind of tight because it's the uh, pin here is very flat so <clears throat> take a little bit time to take that out turn a couple time to make sure that uh, the tensioner is uh, <clears throat> open you know to tension Sometimes, you, if you don't do it, then the uh, tensioner is not open all the way. You crank it and it might pop out. <sighs> so, I see it on a Toyota before, but not a Honda. You know, so make sure you turn a couple times. And make sure you check the alignment mark to see it's still there in case you make mistake you know so check and pre-check 
always plus. Okay, after I turn it a couple times, the mark here is perfect lineup, and also right here is a perfect lineup. At the bottom here, you can see that. Okay, the mark right there lined up straight with the six, so which is a perfect lineup. So ready to put the timing cover and all the stuff in okay and a pulley so from here <coughs> it's a simple step already so I don't have to show you but make sure you tie this boat to 180 foot pound of torque you know the crank pulley is 181 foot pound okay um, other than that, um, everything else is just reverse from what you're taking out. I don't have to show everything because that kind of wastes time to watch and to not having any uh, interest to follow. So, in oil into the uh, engine, so it's overheated, and um, took the head to compression test. And resurface all right go back to this truck is what I just repaint the job you know not too long ago and now it's overheated all right for the Honda one right here Timmy Bell is done everything I put uh, water pump and all that stuff belt and power steering everything's done so I need to put a cool lens on it that's it and test to see how the engine sounds the uh, Honda have regional coolant so I'm going to put the original Honda coolant on it okay water is up so let's go fire it up to see how it sound make sure turn the heat too because uh, this is the manual opening the uh, water that circulated to the uh, uh, what do you call it? the heater core so you have to open the heat so the water can flow to the heater core, okay? Let's go fire it up. Engine sounds good, so let's bubble up until it hit a normal temperature. Then I will shut it off. So they will be bleeding for a while, okay? Okay, now the uh, vehicle is reaching normal temperature, so I'm going to shut down the engine already. And let it cool down so I can close the cap and then uh, ready to put on the road again. Alright, thank you for watching. And uh, I did not show how to put it back after the uh, water pump install, uh, a timing belt install. But after that, just reverse to put a timing cover on it. And, and uh, it's a simple stuff so you can do it yourself so I don't have to show everything. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like share and subscribe please bye bye now